Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to calculate an independent samples t-test in Excel using the data analysis pack. So independent samples t-test, sometimes called a paired samples t-test. You need a couple of uh, requirements where, before you can do this test. First, you must have two groups. You cannot have more than two groups because that's a totally different stats test that we'll talk about in a couple of weeks. So you have to have two groups. The groups must be tested one time. Okay, so in this data set I've got, it's a hypothetical data set, it's pretty fake. Um, I've got males as group one and I've got females as group two. So I fulfilled my first criteria. I have two groups, boys and girls. In each of these groups, I have several people. Each row represents a person, remember? And so each person is tested. Um, male one is tested one time. Female one is tested one time. On and on and on. You'll see that we don't have the same number of participants down here, and that's okay. Um, a t-test can um, make accommodations for that, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to click Data. And then we're going to click data analysis. Again, remember we installed this um, a couple of weeks ago. So data analysis dialog box, box pops up and we want this t-test to sample assuming equal variances. To sample simply means that we have two groups. Click OK. And our nice dialog box pops up and you can see I've already got, um, I've got this filled in for you guys. So variable one range, click that. It's going to be my males. And you actually want to make sure you include that male label field, and I'll explain why in a minute. Now variable two range, this is gonna be my females. Highlight all of them, make sure you get all of them, including that label. Now this labels box will not be checked whenever you open this, so make sure that is checked. That will include the male and female labels in your output. Now I'll put range, I'm gonna put this in cell D1. Once you have all that filled in, click OK. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so we can see it easier. Here is your t-test output. Okay. Now I'll talk about what to do with these numbers um, in my next video on um, interpreting results and writing up results in APA format. So the things that you need to know from this output, this is pretty overwhelming the first time you see it, but don't panic. You need to know these boxes. I'm going to highlight these. This is the mean for males and the mean for females. So we see the mean for males is about 7.9. The mean for females is about 5.3. Okay. You need to know these numbers. 14 males, 16 females. You need to know degrees of freedom, 28. The t-stat box contains your value for your t-statistic. This is what Excel has calculated for you as the, as the statistic for this particular test. Okay. Now the p-value, I always go for the two-tail one, so it's not directionally specified. We talked about that in the last chapter. Okay, 0 0.005. Now anytime this is less than 0 0.05, you have a significant result. Remember, we talked about that in the last unit or the last chapter. If less then 0 0.05 results are statistically significant. Okay, and those are all that you will need right now. So make sure those are highlighted. In the next video, I will show you how to write up your results in a format um, so that you can communicate this out to others.